Hi, it's Wasabi, welcome back to the channel. We've got a battle on the Ghost Town map, and it's Crazy from Lemon Clan. This time he's in the uh, tier 9 US medium tank, the M46 pattern. I'm not sure if you can hear that, but that's uh, he's got the Arnie Commander in the tank, so we'll get a few quotes from him. Alright, so this has actually got a very accurate gun and very punchy as well. So let's have a quick look. He's running a full uh, premium loadout. So you go average damage 390 and he's getting 265 pin. And that's an average pin of course. Um, and decent shell velocity of 1181. So the other thing it's got is a very good uh, view range. So you can afford to sit a bit further back and still spot his own targets. But also as a medium tank you've got fairly you know average armor. So um, but it can bounce a little bit off of the turret. Anyway, just searching for targets here. Nothing coming up just yet, but early days. There's normally TDs and medium tanks on this line who will be pushing up and exposing themselves. He's also a top tier in this game, it's a tier 8 to tier 9 game. So four tier 9s and the rest are tier 8s. And there we go, we've got a tier 8 heavy tank. It's surprising to find it on this line, but um, yeah, he's pushing up, trying to perhaps do something. There you go, he's bounced his first round. Next round bounces off the 53 TP. Just uh, searching for targets, and he's getting lit here. Um, the tanks are not that close to him, particularly the object, but it um, could be the object that's lighting him potentially. So Crazy just backs off and just checks for targets in the town, but uh, nothing on offer there, so it comes back to this spot. So the advantage here is using his gun depression and keeping his hull covered. Letting the other tank spot for the moment until they've got a bit more hold of the situation. As you can see, always looking for opportunities. And okay, here we've got the I-32 crossing. Should be able to get a shot in there, which he does. Nice high roll. And a nice quote from Arnie there: "Knock, knock." Of course, the advantage here is no, not likely to get spotted. He's operating at uh, over maximum view range, but not maximum draw range. But uh, no other targets on offer there. There was a Barask down, further down the line there on the three line, but uh, he's not visible now. Oh, and spotted now. That's uh, probably the Barask. A bit hard to tell. Now the enemy brass goes down and crazy just waiting until he's unspotted which he is now and he can come back here and even though that um, S32 may put blind shots in here he won't know exactly where crazy is. Anyway it comes back to this spot they are one tank down but again early days yet He must be being spotted by the ice, uh, the uh, two, object 252U two there. It's, um, someone else is popping up at the bank with more vision, but yeah, the object 252U two very much uh, in spotting range now. And there you go, Crazy B. What he's doing here, just moving backwards and forwards, just trying to bait shots from the enemies he's facing so that he can use the time. There you go, shot comes in. But it's a bit hard to tell who that's from. But yeah, getting, giving you time to um, focus a particular target and get your aim in correctly. Now, 
One of the weaknesses of the 252U, if you're not familiar with it, uh, is the roof of the turret. So if you can actually shoot down on it, it's a pretty thin skin. It's got to be above the sort of auto ricochet angle. But you can see that's what he's trying to do there. He manages to get a shot in. So they're working that object down. He's nearly he's on one shot. Just being patient here, waiting for the enemy to overcommit is probably the best choice you have here. Got his own team have obviously taken a few hits and they're quite down on hit points so they're holding back. Craze of take deciding this is time to perhaps go in and take out the object. Uh, Brigitte is pushing up, try and take a line. Yeah, okay, they're pushing in now. And doesn't penetrate there. Alright, so they finally get rid of the 252U and just as he's turning, gets takes a shot from the 416. So I think that 416... There's still probably two tanks back with him, but uh, not clear where they are, the 53TP and the Brigetto. But at least they can move up and take a bit more ground. And that will give them better access into the town. It's a blind shot in there and gets spotted at the same time. Gets takes a hit back, but uh, can pump shots into the guard. And one more blind shot, and he gets a kill. Alright, so team is now substantially down. There are three tanks down and Around about 4k of hit points, so, so it's not looking good. Let's see what Crazy can do in terms of influencing the outcome here. Right, 416 is down there, it's been spotted by the Progetto. But again, he's looking for shots in town, and there we go, ML2 crossing. Gets a nice shot in there, which tracks him, forces him to use his repair kit. Another shot, potentially. Uh, unfortunately, couldn't get him and stop him before he got back into cover. Now the enemy's pushing up here, here we go, gets a kill, 234 goes down. That ice 3-2 just needs to back up, he might get the phase. Yes he does, and tracks him nicely. Maybe, no, I know he's repaired, so unfortunately couldn't get another shot in. There's still a major hit point gap, and the enemy completely control the uh, town itself. So, what he's doing now is moving back to the cap area, or to cover the cap area. Although the AE phase one, who was the first to push out, realizes that uh, it's still being covered. But uh, crazy moving back here, there's no point trying to attack down and leaving your cap area uncovered. And there's a patch at 25T been spotted up and right behind. So he could wreak a bit of havoc. So Crazy come here, is coming here to try and neutralize that uh, threat. And hopefully the uh, bat chat is focusing on on others. Okay, we've got another TD down there. Crazy gets a nice shot in there, still not lit so which is good. Our mechs will be looking at the direction the shots are coming from, which looks like he is, but uh, he's just reversing, which is going to keep him in shot for a little while. Crazy now is free to focus on him. Oh, the shot went high. And he's not lit now, so can't do much about him. Well, he's got plenty of ammo, so but uh, time is his problem now. He wants to get this uh, Bat Chat 25T, gets his first shot in does get spotted, so wants to try and tempt this bat chat, but um, ooh, just gets the front of his uh, hull there nicely. 
at this point can't uh, confidently push in. Oh, the bat chat still hasn't fired at him, that's interesting. Maybe he's on reload, so he's got him down to one shot a ball. But can he close the gap? Will he be spotted by the AMX down below? No. Oh, well, he won't be because the AMX is dead. Sorry, I missed that. And he might be able to get, pick up that ML1, which he does, gets the kill there. So he's really closing the gap here. They've got, uh, there's still one tank down and they're still down on hit points, but not by a whole lot anymore. Thanks to Crazy. And he's now up to just under 4.5k of damage here in his M46. So he wants to finish off this patch at 25T. AP, I should say, just to qualify. It's the T9 version. And he gets another kill. So that's four kills now to Crazy. And we've got the original tanks they were battling with, the 53TP, the Object 416 and the Progetto, plus an ISU-152K who hasn't been spotted yet. It's more likely to be overseeing their own cap, or the enemy cap side. So Crazy we've still got to be fairly cautious. Doesn't want to be spotted coming around here, but he would expect them to all be around. But no, there's the uh, 53 TP in town. Uh, he gets a shot in, but just before his aim focuses in. And only tracks him. And it's just around three and a half minutes left now. So this is the time for action, if you're going to try and pull a win. Oh, and they're losing tanks again. So, can Crazy have tracked down this 53 TP? There he is, comes around the corner, puts a nice shot into him, gets hull down. 53 TP misses, one more shot, and he's probably a dead tank. Oh no, he leaves him on 44 hit points. He takes a hit, but that he won't last long. Progetto 46 you can see behind is also one shot. And then you've got the Object 416 and the 152K, who have just taken out the last remaining tank, so Krasip is now on his own. He's got over 5k of damage, but he doesn't want to lose this, so heads away from the city reduces the chance that he's going to be surprised by a um, tank coming around a corner and he can use this view range here to maximise his uh, position. And the advantage of this position here of course he's got some hard cover that he can hide behind and they're usefully a dead tank as well. So he's just checking on the different angles, make sure no one's coming down the uh, zero line. And two minutes left to go, the enemy will want to cap now or try and find him and kill him. So the question is, will they all come together or will he get them nicely one by one? So if he's going to survive, he's certainly going to get his top gun. He's got three tanks to kill. He'll end up with uh, Radley Walters if he plays his cards right. He hasn't spotted anyone yet. Where are they? He's going to have to break cover at some point and try and spot them. Not coming down that side. Are they coming down the A-line? Oh, here we go. Now they're coming. Progetto 46 gets the kill. That was the one shot. The RC-152K is full health. He is spotted, but probably he's not in a great position to fire back. And there you go, the Object 416 is single shot as well. Takes a hit from him, that takes Kazib down to 255, but he gets the kill. So now it's one on one versus the RC-152K, and he takes a lucky shot into his tracks. Time to move. Tracks the 152K, but he does put him into um, his repair kit on. That uh, shot misses, or doesn't connect, but now he's got him in a fairly tidy spot. He can out-circle this 152k. The ICU's got no place to back up into a hard line, and he gets the kill. That's his uh, Radley Walters and the victory. 
Well, that was a monster of a game from Crazib. 7.2k of damage in the end, uh, with another 700 of assisted damage, so that's 7.9 of combined. Uh, eight kills, gives him the Radley Walters medal, and of course he got the high caliber award for all that damage. Uh, got the Ace Tanker badge, of course, and um, the second mark of excellence, which explains why he had a full um, premium loadout. So here we go, team performance, 1783 base experience. That is just a very high level of base, particularly at that tier. Uh, all the players on his side really, yeah, got the most out of the game. Um, and it looks like, yeah, there's quite a few failures there, particularly in town. Uh, but on the other side, yeah, the tanks in town got the most damage. So it sort of explains why there was a walk over in the middle. So the AE phase one, they're getting, 4k and 664 base would probably get him close to an ace tanker as well so congratulations there anyway um this is crazy game and he fired 39 shots so great uh, output there 30 hits and 24 penetrations uh 3.3k of his damage was done at a range of more than 300 meters he only blocked a few shots in the end 400 hit points but uh, that's kept them alive definitely for the end. So had a few um, reserves playing out and um, battle payments from the clan and missions so that helped with his credit earnings this is not a premium tank it's a tech tree tank uh, he did spend 158k on ammunition and 40k on consumables he still made a profit of 4,000 credits uh, so definitely um, worthwhile. Another great game there from Crazy and thanks for the content if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider doing that. We'll have more great content like this to follow. And thanks for watching.